Hi, I'm Taz Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainer here at the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to talk you through how lipids are different. Now first and foremost, what is a lipid? Now a lipid is a hydrophobic substance that is used as an emollient in cosmetics. It's used to improve the skin feel and the appearance of the product. They are also used to increase spread, some can alter viscosity and some provide moisture and an inclusive barrier over the skin. Now, there are a few different types of lipids. There are natural plant oils, esters, triglycerides, silicones, wax esters, waxes, and butters. And they can come natural, naturally derived, organic, and synthetic. So there is something perfect for every formula. Now, let me show you a few examples. So your natural plant oils are your heavy short spreading lipids. Now, if used at a high input, they can actually feel greasy. Some natural plant oils can also come in natural colors, which I will show you a few examples shortly. Esters can be naturally derived or synthetic, and they can either have a light or medium skin feel. Triglycerides are generally naturally derived, and they have a medium skin feel. Silicons are completely synthetic, but they are also quite innovative. They can be light or medium skin feel, depending on their molecular weight and they can also create a occlusive barrier over the skin. Next is your wax esters. So these can be in a paste or oil form. A good example is jojoba oil or lanolin. These can have a light or medium skin feel and they can be naturally derived. Butters are a soft semi-solid at room temperature and they create a nice buttery soft feeling in your emulsions. And lastly, we have waxes. They have a higher melting point than butters, but they can also alter the viscosity in some products. Now, let me show you a few examples. So first thing I'm gonna show you some natural plant oils. Now, these are actually colored oils and they're from Bioli. So they're really beautiful and have a nice shade of color in them. So this one here is the Ruby Red. And as you can see, it's a beautiful color. And depending on input, you can create a nice light shade of color or by increasing the input, you can go to a more deeper color. This one here is the Amber Orange. And this one is the carnelian orange. So they do look at the very similar in color as the raw material itself, but when in an emulsion, they're actually completely different. So the amber orange obviously creates a real nice, deep, bright orange, whereas the carnelian orange creates more of like a yellow orange color. So next is, this is a triglyceride. So this is a medium skin feel. This is caprylic capric triglyceride. This is a ester, so this is a really good silicon alternative. This is Dermafil Sensol. This has a really nice, light, beautiful skin feel, and it's also very long spreading. Next, I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of some silicons. So this is Dimethicone 350. So this is a thicker grade of Dimethicone. So you can get all different types of grades. They're different molecular weights. So this is quite thick. So this has a light to medium skin feel, and this is cyclomethicone. So this is a volatile silicon, and as you can see here, the viscosity is much lighter than the dimethicone, and it has a much lighter skin feel as well. Next is lanolin. So this comes in a very thick paste form. It will need gentle heating to incorporate. This is really moisturizing, perfect for dry skin. Next here, I have some beeswax. This will alter viscosity in some formulas. This is classed as a soft wax, so you can get hard and soft waxes. And lastly, I have um, some mango buddy here. So you, as you can see, it's soft but semi-solid at room temperature, but with a bit of heat, this will soon melt into a nice oil form. So there's a few examples there of the many different ranges and forms of lipids. Now for a great even skin feel in an emulsion, we do recommend using a combination of light, medium and heavy lipids. This is gonna give you best performance. Or choose lipids to suit the target market skin type. For example, light esters or silicones are suited for oily skin, whereas your heavier lipids are more suited to your dry and mature skin. Or choose lipids to suit the application. For example, light long spreading esters and mineral oils are better suited to body lotions and short spreading butters or oils are better suited to face creams. If you would like to learn more about lipids, how to incorporate them into your formula and suitable inputs for different types of skin, please enroll into our How to Choose Cosmetic Ingredients workshop series. 
or for more professional study, you can enroll into our Advanced Certificate in Cosmetic Science or our Diploma in Personal Care Formulation. Well, there you go. That's how different lipids are. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. And as always, happy formulating.